I'm here with Dr. Ralph Redding, and we're taking a look at Newburn's second solar generating facility on a home. Dr. Redding, uh, how long have you uh, had this uh, system installed? It's actually been installed about six days. Six days, okay. Yep. So we're seeing it brand new. Yes. And I see that your system is a little bit larger than uh, the one over in uh, Taberna. That's correct. It's a 5.8 uh, kilowatt uh, array uh, with uh, Sanyo panels that are slightly larger than Tim McClure's. Dr. Redding, are you uh, satisfied with the appearance and how they look on your home? I'm really surprised how unobtrusive they are. They're, it can't be seen from the front of the house unless on a galloping horse, but uh, I guess where we're standing, you can see them a little better from the back. The, uh, the panels are very nice looking and you know, I don't see them as a, a deficit at all uh, to any house. I'm with Dr. Redding again and we are taking a look at the heart of the solar conversion system. Uh, Dr. Redding, I understand this is called an inverter? Yes, it converts uh, the direct current of the solar panels, the PV panels, to alternating uh, current so that it can be put on the grid. I notice yours is a little bit different from uh, Mr. McClear's and it appears to be a little larger perhaps or a it little is neater? larger a little heavier uh, it uh, is, has integration in it which is a another box in, in, Doug, in Tim McClure's system uh, Dr. Redding I see that you too now have two power meters can you explain why there are two separate meters the one on the right is uh, the traditional panel that uh, displays the consumption of, of kilowatt hours that my house needs for, you know, on each day and each month. The one on the left, though, is what I can sell back to the power grid. And you'll notice it's right now at 128 kilowatt hours, which has happened in less than a week. So that. Uh, it's a strict buy-sell relationship with the city of Newburn.